How to take care of your dog's basic needs. Like any other living thing, a dog has some basic needs that will have to be provided in order for it to be healthy, happy and an overall good canine citizen. As your dog's owner, you have the responsibility to provide for your dog's needs. Don't worry, it isn't too difficult to provide for these needs. But you do need to put in some effort and time. The payoff will be fantastic, as you'll get a loyal friend in return. Choosing food for your dog. Try out dry food on your dog. Dry foods are generally cheaper to feed in the long run, have some benefit on dental health due to the scraping of plaque off of teeth by the dry kibble and are easier to store due to their dry form. However, dry food isn't as tasty as wet food so some dogs reject them or don't eat as well. Make sure the dog has access to fresh water, as he won't derive any moisture from the food. wh.performance.mark step 1 underscore rendered. Know about the five levels of psychedelic experience. In Timothy Leary's book entitled, The Psychedelic Experience, a manual based on the Tibetan Book of the Dead, there are five levels that depend on the substance and dosage strength. Level 1, user feels relaxed and subtle visual enhancements can be observed, as well as music having a richer sound. Light doses of magic mushrooms and common doses of cannabis can bring on this level. Level 2, colors and visuals appear brighter and closed eye hallucinations may appear as geometric 2D patterns. Thought processes may be abstract and the user's train of thought may not be easily followed. This level is caused by strong doses of cannabis, light doses of LSD, and light to common doses of mushrooms. Level 3, open-eyed visuals become very obvious, with patterns and warp textures. Closing one's eyes brings on extremely vivid multidimensional geometric patterns. Time begins to become noticeably distorted and movement can be difficult. Brought on by common doses of LSD, mushrooms, and very high doses of cannabis. Level 4, strong hallucinations as objects may morph into one another. Personification of objects may be observed, such as things speaking to the user. Ego death may occur, resulting in a loss of sense of identity. Time is no longer apparent. Strong synesthesia. Achieved with strong doses of LSD, mushrooms, and mescaline. Level 5, high intensity experience, total disconnection with reality to the extent that attempting to explain the effects would be near impossible. Senses no longer function normally. The ego is completely gone. Extreme euphoria and enlightenment may occur and the user may feel a sense of complete oneness. Consuming salvia or extremely high doses of mushrooms or LSD brings on this level. Ensure that the user's schedule is completely empty. Depending on the substance and dosage, the high may last for up to 8 hours. Aim for a weekend or a day when the user won't be bothered by unexpected phone calls or guests. Because some physiologic effects may still occur even after the high is gone, consider a date when the user doesn't have any plans or deadlines the next day. You wouldn't want the user to get high on Sunday, only to skip the very important meeting on Monday due to fatigue. Create a proper set and setting. Keeping the user relaxed and comfortable will minimize the possibility of a bad trip. Set refers to the mindset of the user, such as thoughts, moods, and expectations of the experience. Because these substances alter how the user thinks and views the world, it's important for the user to have a relaxed state of mind prior to consumption. Address any concerns the user may have to prevent the possibility of a bad trip. Setting is the physical and social environment surrounding the user. Negative experiences and feelings are less likely to occur if the user is located in an open, familiar, and relaxing environment, such as a bedroom. Do whatever it takes to make the room as comfortable as possible, adjust the lighting, change the temperature, or put on some music. Consider filming the experience. Psychedelic drugs have the potential to widen the user's sense of self-awareness with the world and consciousness. Because psychedelic experiences are largely influenced on the drug, dosage, tolerance level, and personal expectations, trips can be quite vivid and extremely difficult to describe. Filming the trip allows both you and the user to easily discuss and reflect on the experience. 